What's good with y'all, man? So guys, listen, man, bring this in, bro. The biggest lie women is going to tell you, this has to do with when females are going on their trips. When it's all girl trips, right? When we talking girls night, this is the kind of energy we talking about. And guys, this is what you got to remember because what they're going to tell you and what they're going to do is two different things. Two different things. I'm also going to bring this on another front of just doing this long distance stuff, right? Because I've been having consultations with dudes, a couple of them involved in some long distance stuff. So I also got to talk about that, guys. Now follow me on IG, check the link in the description box. Like it up, turn on notifications, bro. First and foremost, I want you guys to realize that it is not you being controlling. It's not you being any less of a man. If you tell a girl, no girl trips, no girls nights out. Especially if her friends, is the biggest red flag, if her friends themselves are major 304s. She can't do it, bro. She can't do it. It's not going to work, bro. It's not going to work. The only dudes that sit there and be like, oh yeah, but you know, go out there, go out there, go out there, do your thing. They either doing their own dirt at the same time and they don't care or they're just completely oblivious cucks and they know she getting piped down. They know she getting ran through because that's what's happening. I literally was just uh, chilling with some girls, right? And here's the thing, fellas. I can tell you for a certain fact that when girls are sitting there opening up about their hoscapades, right? They escapades as some thotties. When they're being real with you about that, that is the most opportune time for you to actually get an understanding in how they think and how they move, right? So I'm sitting there talking with a group of girls, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we just chilling and stuff. And they're on a girl's trip, right? They're on a girl's trip. They looking for one of the friends, right? One of the girls is gone. She's like, oh, she's been gone all day. We've been looking for her for a while now. She probably with somebody, she's been cheating on her boyfriend all day. I was like, what? She said it again. She's been cheating on her boyfriend all day. I'm like, what you, how, what you mean? She like, she's just been with a bunch of other men all day and he's been blowing her phone up. She ain't been calling him back or nothing. Not answering no text. I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn. And you know what I said? I said, damn. Well, I said, wow, she ain't shit. And I said that straight up because guys, like, when I get told this stuff, I'm like, bro, I swear I put myself in the shoes of the guys that I have consultations with in the shoes of the guys that are genuine guys out there that really just don't want to be out here. They ain't trying to sling no meat. They just trying to have one solid girl, right? And be faithful to her and to see if she can do the same thing. Hit. This is why I do what I do. This is why I do what I do. So for the women in the comment section, like you got to realize that it's a lot of guys out here that do not have even the capability to do the same things that y'all do. Women will cheat for no reason. When these females are out on these long distance trips, long distance relationships, they out on a girl's night out, girl's trip, all this stuff means is she gonna cheat. And she got her girlfriends to cover for her. That's all they're doing. It doesn't matter how great of a guy you are. It really don't. Like it really don't. The best thing that you can have is if your girl is blowing you up while she's out. If your girl is blowing you up at nighttime, trying to call you every night, right? And, and talk to you all night to make sure you ain't cheating. That's that's when when it's like, okay, well, she probably ain't because she could still concerned about me while she on this trip and her girls cannot be thoughts. But if they even show a hint of promiscuity, right? She is out here in these streets. She is cheating on you, bro. She is cheating on you. And some of y'all think that it just has to be a dude penetrating her. No, she could be throwing booty on the dude. She could be giving her number out to dudes, right? Emotionally cheap. It's still, it's still synonymous, bro. It's still synonymous. They will do this stuff. And they're going to lie to you and say, oh, nah. No, we were just hanging out. Just me and the girls finger popping each other. We wasn't doing it. It wasn't no guys around. That's cap. You know, that's cap. It's just crazy, man, because I, I, I be feeling bad for dude. Like, when I heard that, I was like, damn, bro. It sounded like one of the dudes I, I would have a consultation with. Like, if he was in a if he was in a relationship, then she was just visiting, bro. She just visited on vacation. 
girl visit on vacation it don't it don't take much guys like it don't take much i'm not telling you this for you to be insecure but i'm telling you this to be up on the game so you got to break this stuff down if you're going to go that route if you're going to go that purple pill right if you understand what it is and i'm telling you this and you're like all right all right i feel that break it down to them from the jump who are your friends okay what are they okay so your friends some thoughts well in order for you to get with me you're gonna have to lose the thotty friends that's number one number two ain't finna be no girls nights out ain't finna be none of that stuff no ain't finna be that you're not finna dress in that skimpy dress and put on your makeup finally when you're going out with some other people but when she with you she don't get dressed up or nothing tall tail sign right there only time she really doing her makeup doing her lashes right putting on that tight dress that tight skirt is when she go out with her girlfriends to shake her ass at the club when she would show ass the only thing is oh let's whip out that halo ice cream pop that zero calorie popcorn get that cranberry juice oh turn on the tv let's get let's get these streams started get the blanket come on bro it's a certain level that a girl is treating you when you know you got respect. And it's a certain level where you know this girl finna step out and do whatever the hell she gonna do. Unfortunately, there is no fail-proof plan when we talking long-distance relationships, when we talking about a girl's trip, when we talking about girls' night out. You don't know. I do not care, right? And some guy go, well... Her friend is like, we're really close also. So she would tell me everything. She don't give a damn about you. Keep it real with you, bro. She don't care about you. She's always going to put her girl first. She's going to put her friend first. Women hold each other's secrets, like literally to the grave. Women hold lies to the grave. It's crazy. They will sit there and lie for, women will sit there and lie for no reason. They will lie about the smallest thing when they could have just told the truth. They will keep these lies with them to their death, bro. Like, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. So if any of you guys think otherwise, like, this is your wake-up call right now. If any of you guys think that these chicks are not out here doing this kind of stuff, like, like keep this in mind, bro. If you've ever been in a situation where you was calling your girl, right, in the middle of the night or something, and you notice she up because she out, all missed calls, did not call you back, none of that stuff, what do you think she was doing? When you had just talked to her the other night, same time. She on a trip, bro. She's on a trip. What do you think she was doing? You think she was just going to sleep early? Oh, I fell asleep. And that's what she texted you the next day, ain't it? And that what she said, oh, I went to sleep early because of so-and-so. Cap. That's Cap. Oh, I passed out early because of blah, blah, blah. She passed out on some dick. It's keeping it real with you, bro. I'm keeping it real with you. Do not get into no long distance relationships expecting your girl to be extra faithful. Don't expect your girl to go on a girl's trip, right? And you just believe everything she tell you. Oh, yeah, I couldn't answer your call because it did. Well, I blew you up all trying to call you at in the afternoon. I called you right before you said, you know, you was going to eat dinner. You still ain't pick up. You just texting me that you couldn't talk. You put your phone on silent. Your location was gone for like half of the day. What you think she was doing, dog? What you think she was doing? They're going to lie to you for no freaking reason. So, of course, when it comes to this more dramatic stuff, when it comes to the cheating stuff, bro, they've already practiced, dog. That's the thing. They've already practiced. A lot of you guys compare like your ability to lie to theirs. It's not even comparable. It's not in comparison not even a comparison these girls got a whole conglomerate of liars and covering each other's backs like it's not a, it's not a game out there these girls are really about their lying shit bro they really about their lies they really about it bro it is what it is man hey i'm only saying this because it needs to be said you uncover the truth with a lot of these girls when you just that guy that's like hey no judgment zone. I've said this before. This is the no judgment zone, baby. What's up?
when you just hooking up with a girl and she know you just you just a real dude, they'll keep it real with you. You start judging them, they're like, oh, okay, I can't tell them this, I can't tell them that. I can't tell them such and such. They're only gonna tell you things that's gonna make them look good. They're not gonna tell you anything that makes them look bad. You can't uncover the truth from a chick unless it's that. When you're in a relationship with a girl, you're automatically put in that zone where she's going to lie to you to make sure that her reputation with you is always good. The only way for it to be otherwise is for you to catch her in her bullshit. And what are the odds of that, right? What are the odds of that? Don't go for the girls' nights out, the girl trips, and definitely don't believe them, especially after they done missed your calls all day. I, I can only imagine if dude was believing, oh, so worried about you. Are you okay? Were there any men out there taking advantage of you? She probably over here eating it up. Oh, yeah, actually, some creepy guys try to try to talk to me. They wanted my number, but I said no, and I told them to go away. That's a lie, bro. She was throwing ass on like 10 dudes. Gave her number, Snapchat, all that stuff away. Probably got penetrated in some bushes around the corner in the middle of a street alley or something. Do not underestimate them. Do not underestimate them. Lay the law down from the jump. If any girl trying to spin you a long distance relationship, cancel that transaction right then and there. Okay, nah, we strictly just friends. Friends on her ass. Whenever she in your city, then she can come through. That is not your girlfriend. She still belongs to the streets. Then she belongs to the highway, then the airlines, and she worldwide. Mm -hmm.